Spot Colors and Dye Line is a lecture that we are going to revisit from our Introduction to InDesign course. We're going to expand upon the topics that were covered in the Introduction course and talk about how we can use Spot Colors and Dye Lines to enhance the creativity of projects that we create in InDesign and how to apply them in an advanced way. In this lecture, we will talk about what is a spot color, We'll identify the basic steps needed to add swatches to your swatches panel, but we'll also expand that idea and talk about loading swatch libraries, which would be installed on your system permanently. We'll talk about reasons to use spot colors beyond the basics of you just want to use a specific color. We'll take a look at some examples of spot colors in action, and then we'll expand upon the use of spot colors to use it beyond choosing a color, but to identify or communicate things about a print project. And we'll start off by talking about what is a dye line. We'll identify the steps for creating a custom dye line. And then we'll expand upon the idea of a dye line by saying that you could create a dye line that doesn't just identify cuts, folds, and scores, which we already know from our introduction course, but you can also identify where a coating or a foil stamping may be applied. We'll also talk about how spot colors could be used in non-traditional ways beyond that. And an example of that is we have equipment in our uh, labs here that require spot colors just to communicate what colors should be printed at a specific time or when to cut in that software program that's used for that piece of equipment. And then we'll talk about the value of touch and how you can take what traditionally is a plain boring printed item and add coatings or varnishes or foil stamping to it to increase the tactile feel or effectiveness of whatever you're creating. So let's get started. What is a spot color? A spot color is a literal color. It is a color printed using an actual ink color and not a process build of cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. So for example, I can choose to use orange ink instead of a process blend of those CMYK colors to make orange. The orange ink that I would purchase in lieu of cyan, magenta, yellow, and black would be considered a spot color. When you want to use a spot color, it's important to use them in the proper way for the system that you're using or the software application. We're using Adobe InDesign in this class, and so we'll focus on how to use the spot colors properly in InDesign. Digital files prepared for printing with spot colors must be set up in such a way that allows commercial printers to easily distinguish which colors will print as spot colors and which colors will print using CMYK. We make this distinction when designing artwork in digital software applications like Adobe InDesign, Illustrator, and Photoshop by using color swatches via the swatches panel, and that works in any of those programs, and identifying them as being spot colors either through settings or the swatch options dialog box. If you look at the example that's on the screen here, I have a number of colors that have been added to my swatches panel. And if I choose the colors on the swatches panel to use in my project, I can look at the swatches panel to determine a few things about it. For example, if I look at the far right hand column, I can see what looks like an hourglass or an X that's shaped. And if you look closely at it, it's filled in with cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. And so that's telling me that this is a CMYK color but it's just telling me that's the color mode that the color is working within. More importantly, the second column from the right has a gray box with a dark gray circle in it. Whenever you see that gray box with a dark gray circle, it indicates that this color will print as a spot color. And so although it's in the CMYK color gamut, if I was to print with green or red purple or yellow orange, these are all identified as spot colors, and so the printer would think I need to purchase this green ink and this specific red purple ink and this specific yellow orange ink. If you look at the top where it says black, and if we go across the line there, you can see that instead of having a gray box with a dark circle in the middle, if you look really closely at it, zoom in real far here, you can see it's a grid pattern. It's a grid of halftone dots, and so it's explaining to you that this is going to print as a process build of cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, or a process color to print this color. In this case, whoops, in this case, because the color is black, it wouldn't print as a process build of cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. It would just print with black because black is a process color. But if the blue color below it, or let's go down to the yellow green, if the yellow green had that grid pattern with the halftone dots explaining that it's a process color, it would print with some combination of cyan, magenta, yellow, and black to create that yellow green color.